everybody welcome back to the channel and before we get into everything like as always please like subscribe comment and hit that notification bell so you always know when you get my videos and like I said last review this is also going to be available on Spotify so if you hit that link in the description below it is available on Spotify you can listen to this wherever you are and whoever is listening now I want to uh, welcome you to my channel you can find this channel at film feast and to see the video version of it so that out the way today I'm going to be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy volume 3 now this is directed by James Gunn and it has a returning cast of the Guardians and also newcomers excuse me about this name Chirudi Ugie, I hopefully I got that right and also Will Poulter so let's get into everything now the first thing I really want to mention is the direction and the creation of this movie by James Gunn. James Gunn has been doing the, these characters and directing these characters since the first one came out and it really shows with the love and care that he puts into these characters especially when you analyze and evaluate all their emotional arcs. Every single person in this movie, every single character in this movie has an emotional arc, has a end point that they get to that they didn't start off as. And I think that's a really great job of attention to detail and really understanding the characters that you're writing and directing. And James Gunn does a phenomenal job of that in this movie, especially with characters like Rocket, Gamora, and Peter, who truly are the, like the anchors of this movie. And you see them going through a journey and even though you might not uh, like it or it might be bittersweet you also understand why they had to go through that emotional arc and they are not the same characters as when we first saw them like Gamora is literally not the same version as we saw her, but he still is able to get her on an emotional arc that we understand and it was like fits her character just like Rocket who is not the same angry Rocket that we grown accustomed to he is a much more hopeful much more heartfelt Rocket and Peter is also much more grown up. He's much more mature and he has kind of finally comes to realization of what he needs to do with his life. So from that standpoint, I really love James Gunn and what he did with all these characters. Even characters like Nebula and Mantis and Drax also have great arcs that act, fit their characters. Now, another aspect that James Gunn gets really right in this as always is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. It has two or three songs that not only fit character wise but also are stuck in my head and I'm constantly listening to and singing. It is another thing that he pays so much uh, de detail and attention to is the soundtrack and the perfect song that fits the moment, that fits the characters or fits the scene. So there's another thing that I really really like from James Gunn. Now, this not only is this movie emotionally impactful with a very much more darker themes with Rocket and the backstory, backstory with how he was came to be, which is a side note. If you have a hard time with animal cruelty, this might be a little bit much for you, but if you can squeamish through and push through, I still think it is an enjoyable watch. But yeah, I just, that's a caveat that it's a lot of tough scenes when it comes to animals but not only those darker things which gives you a little bit of a, a backstory to Rocket and centers him as the heart and focus of this movie without it necessarily being the Rocket that we're following it, it is a interesting way to set up Rocket as the main character even though it's not necessarily the actual Rocket so I thought that was good but yes these dark tones really hit home and hit the home message of treating people with kindness instead of treating people cold and all these different types of things but with with those dark tones this movie is also absolutely hilarious this is a very funny movie that balances well with those dark tones it's multiple scenes and multiple bits throughout the movie that have me absolutely laughing my butt off it is especially one bit with great actor Nathan Fillion that happens a few times that is absolutely phenomenal and even Will Poulter's Adam Warlock's addition to the cast he also has some very funny bits 
and that makes his character useful even though he might not be the adam warlock that we know he still has use in the sense of like being a particular type of character and a, a reason why he's acting the way he's acting so all that was absolutely hilarious and uh, it kept me laughing throughout and it had a good mixture of one moment you're crying one moment you're laughing one moment you're cheering so for even from those aspects this was a phenomenal movie and speak another thing that I have to give praise for this movie is the visuals the visuals the CGI all of the effects were absolutely phenomenal and it all culminates in probably one of the best MCU fight scenes that I have seen and I have seen all of these movies multiple times over so like I think I uh, remember a lot of them pretty well and it is probably at least top three best MCU fights and especially with the added thing of it's synced up to one specific song that is amazing and it gets you in that mood for a fight and a scrap so it's a truly one of the best fight scenes and had great action throughout so overall I thought Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was a hilarious and emotionally cathartic experience with all these characters and each one of them had a beautiful payoff to their arc at the end of the movie as well as stunning visuals and a stunning soundtrack by James Gunn so I'm gonna give this a five out of five this movie was phenomenal I highly recommend it so have you seen Guardians Galaxy volume 3 where does this trilogy rank for you within the MCU within trilogies just in general are you uh sad that these characters are coming to an end whatever it is comment that below let me know and as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.